No, oh, fuck. Uh, hold up. And now it's time to beat a dead horse. Let's see what Pansu has to say. Making her grand return on Thanksgiving uh, after months and months of silence, having left Ethan Ralph. Um, surely she is now humbled. She's now matured. And she has some grace and civility to her message. Let's take a listen, chat. Let's take a listen. Hey everybody, happy Thanksgiving. I wrote a little Thanksgiving uh, thing that I really wanted to share with everybody here. Uh, so <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit long, so it's probably gonna be broken up into a couple reels, but here we go. I have so much to be thankful for right now. My health and safety, my daughter, my family, my grandpa and uncle are even in town. It's rare to see them, and Rosie brings so much joy. All the love and support from my parents, even though I came out here to be alone. I'm thankful for my new job, an opportunity to grow my skills and earn more to support my family. And my old job and all the wonderful connections I've made. My car that I worked my ass off, literally, all summer for on a farm. And for my family for letting me use their employee discounts. I'm thankful for a safe space, for not being constantly at the front lines, living with a man at war with everything and everyone, and for clean drinking water and the resources provided to me through SNAP and daycare assistance. I'm thankful for myself, my resilience and perseverance. Oh, by the way, uh, SNAP is uh, EBT in New York. Having the discipline to stay on the course of self-improvement to my dad for waking me up to get to the gym early. The sunny days I got to spend outside on the farm. This place is actually pretty beautiful from May to September. I'm thankful even for my husband for teaching me I was stronger than I could ever imagine and for one last good memory together as a family and for the peace, even if it came at a court mandate. I'm thankful for having my sister back in my life for all the fun we have and bonds over boys and even the stupid arguments that teach me how off course I am. I'm thankful for my friend who got me a job at a coffee shop when I came back to the country with just a suitcase and a Moby baby wrap sloppily tied around my back. And for friends who let me borrow cars to drive all the way out 15 minutes to work for $15 an hour and for my parents who took countless time out of their day and work lives just so I can get my feet off the ground. Thank you all for listening to me and supporting me over the years. And I hope there's lots of great things to be thankful for in the future. All right, enjoy the time with your family, everybody. Bye. Here is what she should have been learned and should be thankful for. The like, she talked like a little anime girl, and she talked like a little stupid slut all the time. And why does she make the fucking voice when she fucking speaks? I know she can talk like a normal person, but she just chooses not to. Why does she do it? Why does she do it? I don't understand. Even being gunted did not fix this fucking, in, this like inflection that she puts upon only for the camera because there's no fucking way that any real person out there actually speaks like that normally fix her josh i can't i can't chat i wouldn't to be quite honest with you there is only one man up for the job of fixing amanda morris and i know he's listening gata you have to step up to the plate you have to step up and be a man. You have to step up and be a stepfather. And you have to fix this horse. She literally is working her ass off, pulling the plow. Okay, this is not the life of a mother. A mother should not be hooked up to the, to the plow, carving up the rocky soil of the New York State. She should be at home giving milk to her offspring and gata i know you can provide that life for her 
that she needs. Is she Jewish? She looks Jewish. Uh, there's been much debate about this. Nobody knows. <laughs> I just know that she has the most annoying fucking voice in the entire world. I don't know why. I don't know why Gator doesn't. You know she would. I'm just saying. You know for a fact that she would. At this point in her life, she knows that saying I'm I'm too good. I'm tee -hee, tee -hee, I'm too good for Gator. Tee -hee, tee -hee. That, that doesn't happen. That's not a thing that she would say anymore. Uh, Gator is say Gator says that he's too good for her. But chat, we know that this is a cover up. This is a ruse. He's just afraid to make that shot for fear of missing. So he simply says, I wouldn't even take that shot to begin with. But chat, I'm here to tell him he can take that shot and he can make that shot. As long as he does take that shot, because you don't, you only miss shots that you don't take, Gator. Okay. I'm still, uh, the ship can still sail. It can still happen. Uh, let's, uh, I'm going to make it happen. <laughs> I'm going to find a way. There's some kind of dark ritual that I can do to make this ship sail. Just, it just makes sense. There's literally nothing. Dude, they both love anime. As far as I know, Gator is still chasing after that spooky weeb trash. So this is like, first of all, May is skinny. Huh? Come on. Uh, everyone knows that, that a skinny woman is a better trophy wife. May loves anime. May is obedient. May has low needs. She's willing to go without drinking water or clean clothes. Like, she's low maintenance. She's like a succulent. You just put her in the window and water her, like, once a week, and she's fine. I'm just saying, it, it, like, Gator could, 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 could keep a succulent alive. He could, therefore, also meet May's standards. This is what I'm telling you. Okay. Jokes aside, I'm being serious. Uh, Gator, send her a send her a, a DM. Hit her up on the Insta. Be like, because here's another thing. Here's another thing that you don't think about, right? You say, okay, you have your physical requirements and you have your lifestyle compatibility. There's another third element um, that matters a lot to both men and women that people don't talk about. It's your history together. You're more likely to find somebody that you know attractive and compatible. And even though it's indirect, May and Gator have a long history of adjacency that they can bond over. Even It might be similar to trauma bonding, but it's there. So uh, I think that there's, there's a foundation to build this relationship with. And all the parts are there. You just have to put in the effort, chat. Just put in the effort. I believe in them. I believe that Gator can do it. Good luck, my boy. We're rooting for you. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.